going on go first play master here today and i am playing once again the walking dead and i'm gonna take that bottle of whiskey not gonna drink Probably it not the best idea right now i need to stay frosty well do you know what frosty the snowman looks expensive and heavy doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far well then lee let's try opening the store I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Well, stuff. Nothing. All empty. I, I really doubt that there's gonna be anything in this house. Let's look in the sink. Nothing. Water's off. Ah. No power. No power. Yep. Let's look at this. We're not gonna eat some, are we? Yeah, it's empty. I can see from here. There really Hope is. We never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. Can we take it? I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. <sighs> How's it coming? It's coming great, Krista. Don't forget my business girl. Alrighty then. Let's open the store. Let's go. No, oh, nothing. All clear in here. Alright. Here. No jump scares. Oh, it's a washroom. In here. Unless something's in the toilet. Just one more to check. Oh, this is it, guys. The jump scare. I'm gonna move my mic down a bit. Let's do this. How dare you it's touch nothing. me! Just uh, nothing. Lee's face, just nothing. Well, How dare night. you! We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Yeah. Good. Thanks. No problem. It's okay. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No. Uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. Yeah. I, don't I think was just are. asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? It's okay. What does he want? It's alright. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? It's true. I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. Why? He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's oh wrong? God. It's Kenny. <sighs> oh. Kenny said he thought he heard something to go look he's up there i can't get him to come down come on kenny stay here i feel bad for kenny wife son oh we control okay come on Kenny? What is it, Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, it's 
Is that is that the boy that lived in the house? Oh, oh, that's sad. Oh, he must have like not had food or water. Yeah, he does. It's just a kid. What the hell? He looked. Yeah, he didn't have enough food. Guess he must have been hiding out of here, starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not, not again. <sighs> I'll take care of it. I can't ask you to go through this again. Let me take care of it. Are you sure? Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found out what I did. That's true, but... Oh, okay. Shoot zombie. I don't want to waste any ammo or make noise, so... But... Ugh, I'll just bash him. I'm sorry. It's so sad. We should bury him. We should bury him. Yep. I'll take care of it. Go. It's okay, Ken. It's okay. Is this the front or the back? Why is it playing kind of creepy music? I'm dancing with them. <laughs> All right, let's go. With the dog. It's okay, boy. Oh, this is sad. Oh, the dog, the boy. <laughs> Ah, oh, Clemmy's watching. Stay. No, she. Sh oh, okay. Take her in, Krista. I've been getting. Now that I've been getting to know Krista, she's actually been kind of nice and calm. But like, and even towards Clemmy, she wasn't like, like, who is that guy? Like, she was all nice and calm about it. So it's, and always really nice too. Oh, so foggy. Already that much dirt? That's so unrealistic. Ah! Oh, put Hey! Hey! Ah! You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I'll kill you! Lee, what's going on? Uh, someone, someone was watching standing us. There by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Man. Didn't get a good enough look. That was a, it it's obviously a man. I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. 
That's true. Kimmy? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. Ugh. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Okay, calm. Walkers Down. are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Alright, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Omid's well, you better not. get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd it's rather true. just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. He is I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. <laughs> Hey, can't I come? My mom and dad oh, can't be far no, now. Maybe Clemmy. we can look through them on the way to the river. We need to focus on finding a boat right now, Claire. Like we talked about on the train, remember? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. Jeez. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Stay near Project Clemmy. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Yeah, I'll bet. Good. I didn't trust him, I just told him to. That scared the hell out of me. Why? God dang, jump stairs. Infected. How lovely. Okay. Okay. Alright. It's okay, Kenny. Hold on a second, guys. Back go first. All right. Why does Lee have that look on his face? Okay, why are we like at that certain view? I don't want to feel like I'm being stalked. I'm scared now. <laughs> What? What's what's with that? What is with that upside down A and the stuff? Hey, want to talk? So you want to talk about it? About what? About Damn. what happened back there in the act? Okay. No. Okay. You sure, man. I mean, rivers right up ahead. Okay. Okay. Like. Go. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. How did they not see what them? What in the hell is going on? This is really confusing. Like, the people ringing the bells? I have no idea. I have no idea, but someone must be ringing. Like, Whatever, man. they're helping us. Whoever's doing that, they're trying to their kill us. Bell for them. Oh, that's good. good one. I don't know if they're helping us. They're trying to kill us. Let's keep moving. And then the radio guy trying to help us. I don't know. It's so confusing. This episode's like, so far, like, Kenny. Lee, that's not how Still you walk. moving behind us. I think we're... Oh, my God. Is it another boy? Oh. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta oh. be a boat. 
Time for plan. Sure about B. that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. I'm sorry. God. There's no boats, Kenny. I. This one might still be salvageable. The boat is working. Kenny, get a grip. This boat is totally fucked. Oh, yeah? Know a lot about boats, do you? Tell you what. If I ever need an expert opinion on American history, I'll be sure to ask. But how about you leave the nautical shit to me? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, let's, uh, boards. Screw that. Let's go over there. What the hell? What? What? Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. What? Oh! Oh, hi! Oh my god, what the hell? Great. Needs a quarter to work. Of course! See, nothing in The Walking Dead can ever be, like, serious or anything can, like, so, I don't know stuff. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh! Hashtag Genius Lee. It's not. It's not gonna work though. It's too easy. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Yeah. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Yeah, I know. What are they? Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Okay, I got my wrench with me, the walkie-talkie. Trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Oh, let's look here. Gas siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Wow. <gasps> Locked. Can I bust it though? Yeah, see? Bust it. Boom. Genius. 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 What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? <laughs> Even Kenny's like... <gasps> what, the, what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Oh. <sighs> 
All right, let's uh, look all the way over here. What the? What the hell? Yo, talk. Get down. Get down. Now she can see you. Okay, we're gonna attack her. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like Sounds a plan. Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Oh, okay. You just want to talk to this guy. Yeah. Oh, we're going to talk. We're good. What the? What the? Ah. <sighs> it's a girl. Crawford. Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! Who the hell are you people? We're from... I asked you first. I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No. What is Crawford? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yeah. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. I Calm think she's down, telling the truth. Katie. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas that- Geeks! Geeks? Is that what you call them? <laughs> yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. 
Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. It's true. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Okay, so it wasn't completely Ben's fault. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's debatable. It's true. Uh -huh. Why no children? What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. <sighs> what exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Oh. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. That's sad. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for yeah. a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. This? Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- <gasps> My service! Isn't that the- Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a Ooh, map parkour. Hey, you just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please. Clummy's cuteness, you can't hit the eyes. Come on, make it fast. Fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Come on, Kenny. Please, go, go. Come on, man. One good jump. No, Just sit. Oh, let's go. No! No! Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Ah, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Let's go! Oh, get out of here! Oh, don't fall in. Ah! Clementine, can you hear me? Can you? No. If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? 
I'll meet you there. Shit. It's all right. Don't slip. That's first. Okay. Uh, there's that. There's that. Oh, it extends. Let's go down here. Don't slip. Which I know is gonna happen. Ah! Did it but it strikes again. All right. Um. Uh, uh, why would I take it? Why would I pick up a dead rat? I'm gonna go over here. What's that? It's a drainage pipe. Let's go over here. I hear some zombie zombies. Come on, Lynn. Of course, <laughs> everything is locked in The Walking Dead. Every single thing. Okay, let's take pick up the dead rat. Maybe we can use that as a key. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. Exactly. First of all, rat. Second of all, dead. What the hell? Why would you touch it? Why would you dare put that option in? That's freaking gross. Like, well, crap. What are we supposed to do? Come on, we have a. We have like three things that we could probably use. You know, our hands, the pickaxe thing that Molly or whatever her name is gave to us. What am I exactly supposed to do here? Is there anything? No, I have to go over here then. <gasps> go, 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 go. Oh! Let's look over here. <gasps> oh! Oh! On both sides? How is that possible? How is it locked on both sides? <laughs> Boom. Look at that. Alright. Uh, now we got done that. we've done that. Let's turn left. Don't turn anymore in that direction. Okay, then let's turn it right. All right. Oh! It <sighs> oh! Shit! Hey there! Oh! Oh! There was another thing like that over over here, but oh wait, no! I f now I just remembered. We have another exit. I'm a genius. Ready? Sprint, sprint, go, 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 go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Lee, come on, go, 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 go. Right. Auto save. I have CJ right. Yeah. Okay, run. They're gonna start coming this way. Oh no. Hold on. Go, 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 go. Come on, lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it. Why can't we lock it? There it 
They don't see me, why? Alright, that looks just about it. Okay. Oh no! Chuck, you must have tried Chuck. to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Oh, he looks like Doctor Octopus. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Well, that's horrible. Cause he was a good guy. All right, let's go. You know those guys back there. Well, this girl looks like she ha she's having a good time. Let's go take her out. What ah! What's oh god no two face? Uh. Oh, god damn it! Go oh, god damn it! Okay, uh, maybe shoot her. Fuck! Of course. We should have used the picks pickaxe. Nope. Oh no! Oh, oh. Okay. Oh no. Two face. No. Go 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 Go, 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 go. This is it. No way I could pick that up on my own. Those bars are way too solid. Oh, what's this? Just a sign. Oh no! Oh. Oh. God! Oh. Oh. oh my god, that scared the heck out of me. Oh, Two Face, no. Was horrific. No way I could pick that up on my own. We know that won't work. Wait, I saw another thing. Only up. Damn, I can't reach it. Maybe you can do some parkour. Hey, hey. Whoa! What the hell? Shh, you might wanna quiet down me. <sighs> Aha! Go, 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 go! Bye, Chuck. Oh. This place. The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. 
Whoa! Look at all the food! Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. No kidding! I'll save. Oh. Hello. Who are you? I don't it's want any trouble. Right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. Yeah, it's okay. I can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. Okay. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? Yes. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? Yeah, we can talk. What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer. Or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, yeah, what are you doing? Talk. Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's alright. It's alright. Do I have okay. to do that? Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. <sighs> this guy, whoa. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so that perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, Irony's always high on my uh, list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? Walkers. Few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Can you show Those me the way sewers back? sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? If you've got sick people here, maybe I can help. Our group has medical supplies. What kind of medical supplies? Dang! Oh, all kinds. I'm sure there's something you could use. We'd be happy to trade some for a guide back to where we're staying. Vern, we need medicine. Joyce is in a lot of pain. I can't bear to see her like this. Maybe it's worth the risk. Maybe so. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be all right. All right, guys, next I'll save, I'll uh, end the episode here. Clementine? Clem? Where's Clemmy? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. 
I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. Yeah. I think you have something that belongs to me. Oh yeah, your pickaxe. I like how he just pulls it out of his pocket. <sighs> Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? I'll need to see those medical supplies. What medical supplies? <laughs> Cheers! Uh, sorry, Doc. Had to get you on board somehow. Well, you just get better and better, don't you? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Oh, she is. Oh. This used to be the boys' room, I'm assuming. Omid, honey. You're gonna be alright. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Yeah, Clemmy. Clementine. Clementine? All right, guys. Uh, this was that part of the uh, Walking Dead. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe, uh, comment, yeah, subscribe to become a go for today, and, uh, yeah, stay epic, bye.